help, Barbara. It's so hard not to be struck by the contrast between his calm, almost dismissive, giggling even at times manner and all those grisly scenes in the streets. Well, first of all, he says that the people who are now, most of the protesters, are being armed by others, that they're not just innocent people. You know, there's such a disconnect. When we asked officials here, when I was going, they said, don't leave your hotel room. Not only could we leave our hotel room, we walked everywhere. Well, these are signs of the protesters. But we walked. We had a, a, a young woman who was our minder, but we went anywhere that we wanted to. The markets are filled with food. Uh, people are sitting outside having coffee. One hour away, people are being killed. Right. This is Damascus, what we're this seeing right Damascus. now. This is Damascus. And in Damascus, it's like business as usual. There you are. You see me in a, you know, in a shop. Business is lousy, but life goes on. An hour away, people are being killed. But then there, there's the disconnect with him. This is a man who says we're going to have parliamentary elections in February. We're going to have presidential elections in 2014. We're going to have opposition candidates. I mean, and at the same time, the country is in an uproar. You know, and we, we heard similar things from Gaddafi before he fell. Similar this things man from is not like Gaddafi. How so? Well, uh, first of all, Gaddafi, his whole demeanor was sort of that as, as, a, as a, a, a wild man. This man is highly educated, very calm, as you can see. And as far as he's concerned, well, Gaddafi did say he had the support of his people. Um, but th there's just a whole difference um, in, in the way he handles and himself. And did you get the feeling from sitting there face to face with him that he really was in control, that he, that he had the situation But that's what's so amazing. You say, he says, I didn't do it, it was my government. You are the government. I'm, no, I'm the president. But the government did it. No, I had nothing to do with that. that it's, the, it's the disconnect between the city of Damascus and the rest of the country, or much of the country, and this man who says, sanctions won't bother me. I only care what's happening in Syria. I don't care about public opinion. I'm very calm, and it will be okay. Well, it is fascinating stuff. Another big exclusive. Barbara, thanks very much. You can see more of Barbara's exclusive tonight on World News and the entire interview tonight on a special edition of Nightline. Barbara Walters in Syria, Assad Speaks.